Welcome to Academic Guru's Tutoring Thursday, where we answer all of your high school, college, and university questions. If you would like your question to be featured on next week's Tutoring Thursday, please submit your questions to questions at academicgurusinc.com. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay current with all of our new videos. Today I'll be solving a stoichiometry question that was sent in by Vinny. And the question reads, in photosynthesis, plants convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose according to the reaction. And we're given a reaction here uh, where we have six moles of carbon dioxide added to six moles of water. And that yields six moles of oxygen and one mole of glucose. And the question continues on to say that suppose you determine that a particular plant consumes 37.8 grams of carbon dioxide in one week. Assuming that there is more than enough water present to react with all of the carbon dioxide, what mass of glucose in grams can the plant synthesize from the carbon dioxide? So this is a classic uh, photosynthesis question using st uh, stoichiometry and I solved a similar problem in the past where we found the molar concentration of the reactants and I invite you guys to have a look at that if you need some extra help or practice on stoichiometry questions. But carrying on with this question, Uh, the basic thing to understand here is that you've been given 37.8 grams of carbon dioxide and the goal is to determine how many grams of glucose this would yield. Key to any stoichiometry question is always to understand the molar relationship between the different reactants and products. So what I've done is I've created a table. So here I've got my reactants of carbon dioxide and water as well as my products, oxygen and glucose. So I've not done anything different. I've simply transferred all the agents of the reactants into a table so that it becomes clear what we're dealing with. Next, I'm looking at the molar ratio of each of the chemical agents. Based on the equation that we're given in the question, we know that for every six moles of carbon dioxide, we have six moles of water and in the presence of sunlight, that yields six mole of oxygen and one mole of glucose. Now that we know the molar ratio, what we're really concerned about is the mass of glucose that will be yielded from this um, equation. So now we have to move on to molar mass because combined with the molar ratio, it will allow us to calculate the final yield of glucose. So let's fill in our table. So I've filled in the molar mass for all of the reactants and all of the products. And this is really just for presentation. But what we're concerned about in this question is the molar mass for carbon dioxide, which is 44 grams per mole. And we're also concerned with the molar mass of glucose which is 180 grams per mole. So to convert the equation from 37.8 grams of carbon dioxide into an unknown amount of glucose, we will be using the molar ratio and molar mass between carbon dioxide and glucose to determine the mass of glucose. So let's start off with what we know. We've been given an amount of 37.8 grams of carbon dioxide. We know that for every mole of carbon dioxide, the molar mass is 44 grams of carbon dioxide. But our goal is to determine grams of glucose. So what we have to do here is to use the ratio between carbon dioxide and glucose to determine the amount of glucose that this reaction will yield. So what we know is that for every mole of glucose, there is six moles of carbon dioxide. So we're getting a step closer. We've converted carbon dioxide to moles of glucose, but again, our ultimate goal is not moles of glucose, but grams of glucose. 
And so the next step is to multiply the moles of glucose by the molar mass of glucose. And what we know is that one mole of glucose has a molar mass of 180 grams. So there we are. For those who are still unclear of the steps I've taken here, I'll do a little bit of housekeeping to clarify why I chose the ratios that I've chosen. If we start off with the 37.8 grams of carbon dioxide, we can see here that the grams of carbon dioxide can be cancelled out because grams of carbon dioxide here can be cancelled out with grams of carbon dioxide here. The same way, moles of carbon dioxide here can be cancelled out by the moles of carbon dioxide that are dividing it here. Similarly, the moles of glucose here can be cancelled out with the moles of glucose here. And after calculating the equation through, so using my calculator, I'm taking the 37.8 grams, dividing it by 44 grams, and again dividing it by 6, and finally multiplying it by 180. After calculating this through, I find that the photosynthetic reaction yields 25.8 grams of glucose. So there you are, Vinny. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for tuning into our Tutoring Thursday channel. If you enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. We would love to hear from you. Until next week's Tutoring Thursday, happy studying.